In this video, we're going to talk about the ophthalmic artery, which departs from the internal carotid. Just lateral to the hypophyseal fossa just here. And the ophthalmic artery immediately traverses through this optic canal in the sphenoid bone, accompanying the optic nerve in that part. It then courses along the, the superomedial aspect of the orbital cavity, sending off a number of branches as it does so, which collectively contribute to the supply of the orbit, the nasal cavity, and the forehead. Eventually, we'll be seeing a picture something like this. But to make things a bit more straightforward for us, at least to begin with, let's have a look at these branches in isolation. So our ophthalmic artery is in cyan in the center here, and you can see each of these branches departing and adhering quite closely to the anatomy of the eye, the forehead, and the nasal cavity. We're going to introduce these branches one by one so that we don't overcomplicate things. And we'll be doing so in the sequence provided by our mnemonic, which is Dr. McClessy. That's D-I-M-C-L-E-S-S-I. -S -S we commence with one of the terminal branches of the ophthalmic, that is the dorsal nasal artery, which, as its name suggests, courses over the dorsum of the nose. Next, we have R for retinal, that is the central retinal artery. Departing from the ophthalmic artery quite early in its course, we should remove the sphenoid bone to get a, a better appreciation of that. The central retinal artery matches the course of the optic nerve and together with the optic nerve, pierces the globe at its most posterior aspect before supplying the retina with its arterial blood. Next, we have the muscular artery, which supplies the extraocular muscles with their arterial blood and accompanies the oculomotor nerve in its course. Unfortunately, that artery isn't included in this model. Next, we have C for ciliary. That is the long and short posterior ciliary arteries. Beginning with the long posterior ciliary arteries, they course along the, the transverse midline of the globe to contribute to the supply of the iris, as you can see there. The short posterior ciliary arteries are far more numerous and both contribute to the supply of the sclera, which they pierce at the posterior aspect of the globe. Let's remove these on the right-hand side to make things... Uh, a little bit more straightforward for us as we bring in the rest of our branches. Next up, we have the lacrimal artery, which, as its name suggests, supplies the lacrimal gland with its arterial blood. That's the lacrimal gland there. And there's the lacrimal artery departing quite early in the course of the ophthalmic, moving superior laterally toward the lacrimal gland and also supplying the eyelids and the conjunctiva as it does so. The next branches of the ophthalmic that we'll mention are perhaps the most complex. So we're going to remove the dorsal nasal so that we can make them out a bit clearer. They are the anterior and the posterior ethmoidal arteries which both depart the ophthalmic to be transmitted through these spaces between the ethmoid and the frontal bones. If we remove nasal, maxilla, lacrimal, and ethmoid bones, we'll get, we'll get a slightly clearer picture of their complex course. That is the anterior ethmoidal here, septal and nasal branches. And that is the, the posterior ethmoidal, both of which contribute to 
the blood supply of the nasal cavity. Let's bring all those bones back in now. Our next two branches are our S and our S. The first and most medial of these is the supratrochlea, which is the second terminal branch of the ophthalmic, departing the orbit and supplying the forehead. We then have the supraorbital artery, which glides through the supraorbital notch of the frontal bone and supplies muscle and skin of the forehead as well as the superior rectus and levator palpebrae superioris muscles. We only have one artery left now, that's the internal palpebral, which supplies the eyelid and unfortunately isn't included in this model. That's it for the branches and the anatomy of the ophthalmic artery. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and we will see you in the next video.